Hi, my name is Andrea Hunt. I'm the Executive Director here at the Calgary Wildlife Rehabilitation Society. Well, we have hares that have come in that are just a couple of weeks old to maybe a month old. Most of those hares probably didn't actually need to come to us. A lot of times hares are picked up by unsuspecting public who think that they're orphaned when they're really not. Mother hares usually leave their babies for very long periods of time alone uh, without any supervision. Uh, and people pick them up thinking they're orphaned, not realizing that mom's gonna only be coming back to see them twice a day. Uh, so we do have a number of hares, we've received over 50 this year and they are high stress animals so that's why they don't do very well in captivity. They find it very stressful to be around humans and to be handled by them and so that's why they're best left where they are. We try to get that message out to the public. We say see a hare, leave it there, it's one of our campaigns. But of course once they're here we do our best to take care of them and we have babies that are just a couple of weeks old and some up to a month old and as soon as they're ready to be released we're going to put them right back where they belong. Well, we get tons of fledgling and nestling birds every single year. Hundreds of them come in every year. Some of them have fallen out of their nests. Some of them are fledglings. And if they're fledglings, we tell the public, those, as long as the mom and dad are around, this is very normal behavior. Birds always spend time on the ground. They get too big for their nest and they need to still develop those flight, their flight muscles and their feathers still need to grow in, their uh, primary flight feathers. So they are on the ground until that happens, but mom and dad are usually around and making sure that that baby is protected. So if mom and dad are around, there's no problem. Those animals are fine. Uh, but if there is no parent around, then absolutely they should come into us. And we get hundreds of them every year. They need to be fed every 20 minutes, all day long, which is a huge amount of time that our staff spends. But luckily for us, they all sleep all night long. So nobody needs to take them home at night. But. They do very well with us, those songbirds, and we release hundreds of them every year. This is a mule, a fawn from a mule deer. Just like the hares, fawns are left alone for very long periods of time. So sometimes they're brought in when they don't need to be brought in. In this case, our staff advised the people to bring this animal in because it had been left alone for so long um, that they felt that the mother wasn't coming back. So the fawn was just left on someone's driveway, actually. The mother had left it there and the people observed it from their house all day long and the mother just didn't come back. And so after about 24 hours, they just decided that it needed to come in to us. You can always phone us. Uh, we have a wildlife hotline. It's 403-239-2488. Anyone who's unsure of what to do if they find wildlife can always phone us and our staff are very willing to help you decide what to do, whether that animal actually needs help or if it should just be left on its own uh, because it's actually doing what it's supposed to do.